Hello everyone, I'm Teacher Ayan and welcome back for another video tutorial in Math 9. In this video, we will talk about similarity and triangle similarity theorems. Para sa part 1 ng week 6 to 7 natin, I'm going to guide you how to answer the engagement part in your learner's packet. Well, on the second part of this video will be the assimilation part. First, let's start illustrating what a similarity figure is. So here's a basic principle of similar figures. Figures are similar if and only if they have the same shape but not necessary of the same sizes. Okay, so let's have an illustration. So, kunyari, ito yung original drawing natin. So, kapag kinuha natin ang enlargement nito o kung na-resize natin ito, okay, katulad niyan, so magkakaroon tayo ng enlargement. And this enlargement is similar now to the original figure. And likewise, pwede rin tayo magkaroon ng reduction ng original figure. So we can say that figure A is similar to figure B. And moreover, figure A, B, and C are similar to each other. So we can say that figure B is similar to itself. So kasi sabi dito sa definition, the same shape but not necessary of the same sizes. So itong figure B ay similar din sa sarili niya. Maybe you will ask, is similar figures congruent? Okay, so depende. For example, itong figure B and C are similar, but they are not congruent. Kasi kung congruent sila, dapat reflection sila ng isa't isa. So anong point dito? Note that all congruent figures are similar, but not all similar figures are congruent. Now let's discuss about triangle similarity theorems. Two triangles are similar if corresponding angles are congruent and corresponding sides are proportional. So, tandaan natin ang dalawang ito. Ito kasi yung parang condition para masabi natin na yung dalawang triangles ay similar. Okay, so let's say we have here triangle ABC. This one is similar to triangle DEF. So, sabi sa definition, corresponding angles are congruent. So, alin kaya dito sa figure na ito ang mga corresponding angles? Okay, so, itong angle A corresponds to angle D. So, kapag isinulat natin yan, okay, so, ganyan siya. Angle A corresponds to angle D. Another pair, we have angle B corresponds to angle E. And then, angle C corresponds to angle F. At dahil sabi sa definition natin, corresponding angles are congruent. So, ibig sabihin, pwede na natin palitan ang symbol na ito ng congruent symbol. So, yan ang ibig sabihin sa first condition natin. Ang second condition naman ay corresponding sides are proportional. So, ngayon, hanapin muna natin ang mga corresponding sides dito sa dalawang triangle na ito. Okay, so itong AC... Itong side AC corresponds to side DF. So, kung susulat natin yan, ganyan yan. So, AC corresponds to DF. And another, we have here AB. This one corresponds to DE. And another, we have BC corresponds to EF. Now, sabi dito sa ating definition, corresponding sides are proportional. Pero bago mangyari yun, we need to transform this into ratio form. Kaya magiging ganito siya. Okay, so meron na tayong ratio. At kapag sinabi natin yung proportional, it is an equation or equality of two or more ratios. Kaya ito ang mangyayari dyan. So pwede natin i-equate yung first ratio sa second ratio at sa third ratio. So, hindi natin kailangan isolve ang lahat ng ito. So, pwedeng ito lang. Yung first and second pair. Pwede rin yung second pair and third pair. O di kaya yung first pair at saka yung third pair. So, depende sa problem. Okay. So, bali, ito yung pinaka-basis natin kapag tayo naghahanap ng mga missing sides ng similar triangle. Okay. So, let's say dito sa ating figure, si AC over DF ay equal daw kay AB over DE at equal din kay BC over EF. So, try natin isubstitute yung mga given value niya dito. So, itong AC over DF, so ito yung 6 over 12. 
Tapos yung AB over DE, so si AB ay 4, tapos si DE ay 8, so 4 over 8. Then we have BC, 2, and EF is 4, so we have 2 over 4. Okay, ma'am, bakit hindi sila equal? Kasi hindi pa sila lowest term or simplified form. So ang simplified form ng 6 over 12 ay 1 half. Okay, so bakit 1 half? Kasi... Ang GCF ng 6 at saka 12 ay 6. So, i-divide lang natin yun. 6 divided by 6 is 1. And 12 divided by 6 is equals to 2. And also, yung simplified form ng 4 over 8 ay 1 half. Kasi ang GCF naman nilang dalawa ay 4. So, 4 divided by 4 is 1. And 8 divided by 4 is 2. Then, ganun din dito sa 2 over 4. So, ang lowest term or yung simplified form niya is also 1 half. Kasi yung GCF naman nilang dalawa ay 2. So, 2 divided by 2 is 1 and 4 divided by 2 is 2. So, as you can see, ang kanilang ratio ay pare-pareho. Kaya siya naging proportion. So, itong 1 half na ito, ito ay tinatawag nating scale factor or similarity ratio. So, tulad ng sabi ko kanina, hindi mo kailangang isolve ang lahat ng ito. Okay? So, pwedeng pumili ka lang ng dalawang pair. Now, let's answer learning task sa engagement part ng inyong mga lead or learners packet. Okay, so directions. Answer each of the following. Number one question, how do you find the scale factor of similar polygons? Okay, so kakadiscuss lang natin kanina. And our answer is to find the scale factor of similar polygons. Katulad kanina sa dalawang triangles, they are similar. Paano natin nahanap yung kanilang scale factor? We simply get the ratio of the lengths of the corresponding sides of the polygon. Okay, next. Number two, illustrate or draw triangle CAR is similar to triangle BOW. Then complete each statement. Angle A, this one. Angle A is congruent to, so saan congruent si angle A? Okay, so congruent siya kay angle O. And then si angle R is congruent to blank. So saan congruent si angle R? Congruent siya kay angle W. And then angle C, this one, is congruent to angle B. Okay, so ganun lang kasimple. And then, Side CA over BO, so corresponding sides are proportional. So CA over BO, so ano pa yung mga corresponding sides dito sa dalawang triangle? So we have AR, okay, itong side na to is proportional or equal to OW. And then yung last, we have CR over BW. Number 3, complete the following statement. Okay, here's the given figure. So, if quadrilateral L, M, N, O is similar to quadrilateral W, X, Y, Z, then angle M, this one, yung angle M is congruent to, saan siya congruent? Okay, so si angle M ay congruent siya kay angle X. And then, dito naman, si angle N, this one, angle N, so saan siya congruent? Kay angle Y. And then, sa side naman, O, L, this one is proportional to side ZW. Okay, what are other corresponding sides aside sa OL over ZW? Okay, so we have ON over ZY. Okay, so pwede naman LM tsaka WX. Pwede rin yun. Pwede rin MN at tsaka XY. And then next, B. So, ito yung size. B is equals to blank. Okay, so to solve for B, una ay susulat muna natin yung mga corresponding sides ng figure natin. So, unahin na natin isulat yung side na kung saan na andon si B. Ito. So, kasi yun ang hinahanap natin measurement. Okay, so unahin na natin. So, si B ay nasa side XY. Okay, so XY corresponds to side NN. Ito. Okay, tapos, isunod natin kung ano yung may given na side. So, ito naman, WX, tsaka, at yung corresponding sides niya, si LM. Okay, take note guys, hindi pwedeng magkabaliktad ha. So, alimbawa, ito, si LM at saka WX, pinagbaliktad nyo. Okay, so hindi pwede yun. Kasi dito sa unang ratio natin, na una nyo isulat yung XY dito sa malaking quadrilateral. So, dapat, dito sa numerator ng pangalawang ratio ay yung sides ng malaking quadrilateral muna yung mauuna dito. Okay? Okay. So, ngayon, substitute na natin yung mga given niya. So, si X, Y, B. Yan. So, si X, Y, I, B, M, N. Ang measurement na given niya dito is 9. Is equals to yung W, X is 9. And then over L, M. 
which is yung 3. So, to find B, siko cross multiply lang natin yan. So, B times 3 is equals to 3B, and then 9 times 9 is equals to 81. And then, divide both sides by 3. So, we have B is equals to 27. So, B is equals to 27. Okay, next, letter B. The scale factor of LMNO is similar to WXYZ is blank. Okay, so paano nga natin tinukuha yung scale factor? Okay, so sabi nga natin, kukunin lang natin yung ratio ng mga corresponding sides ng polygons. Okay, so sabi ko nga kanina, sa pagkuha ng scale factor, hindi mo kailangan isolve lahat ng mga sides na yan. O hindi mo kailangan kunin yung lahat ng ratio ng kanyang mga sides. So, pwedeng dalawang pair lang. So, dito dahil ang may mga given lab na sides, eto, so yun lang yung kukunin natin. Okay, so, we have LM, so dito sa small quadrilateral, so we have LM over yung corresponding sides niya na WX is equals to MN over XY. Okay, so isa substitute lang natin yung mga given nila. So, we have yung LM is 3, yung WX natin ay 9, then yung MN is 9, and then yung kaninang sinuwag natin, yung value ng XY, eto nga ay 27, so yun ay 27. So, to find the scale factor, ilo-lowest term lang natin yan. So, 3 over 9, that is 1 third, kasi yung GCF niya ay 3, so 3 divided by 3 is 1, and 9 divided by 3 is 3, ganun din dito. Ang GCF ng 9 at 27 ay 9, so we have 9 divided by 9 is equals to 1, and 27 divided by 9 is equals to 3. So, therefore, yung scale factor natin sa figure na ito ay 1 third. Okay, next, let's proceed to number 4. Okay, so gagawa tayo ng two column proof para masagutan natin ito. Okay, so ito yun. So, here in the given figure, triangle ABE, so itong maliit na triangle, is similar daw to triangle ABC, so itong malaking triangle. So, which triangle similarity theorem justifies this similarity? Okay, so as you can see, my markings dito sa given figure natin, which is itong angle D at saka itong angle B. At ito ay ang given natin. So, angle D is congruent to angle B. Tapos, ang kailangan natin i-prove ay itong triangle ADE. So, itong malit na triangle is similar to triangle ABC dito sa malaking triangle. Una palagi natin inilalagay ay given. At dahil ang given natin ay angle D is congruent to angle B, so yan ang nasa statement natin. Tapos ang reason natin ay given. Okay, sa learner's packet ninyo, may mga example pwede ninyong reviewin yan para may guide kayo. At hanapin ninyo yung sample dyan na may triangle na katulad nito. So iba nga lang yung given dyan. As you can see, itong malaking triangle na to ay na-divide yung dalawang sides niya ng segment D na ito into the same ratio. Kung kaya... Naging parallel itong segment na dito sa third side ng laking triangle. So, we have DE, this one, is parallel to BC. So, yan yung statement natin. At ano yung reason natin? And the reason is the converse of basic proportionality theorem. Okay, so what else? So, another we have here, angle E is congruent to angle C. Yan ang nasa statement natin. So, ang reason natin ay... If two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, corresponding angles are congruent. Maaalala ninyo, napag-aralan mo ito ng grade 7 at grade 3. So let's say these two lines are parallel and this is the transversal line. Okay, so that's why angle E and angle C are corresponding angles. And corresponding angles are always congruent. Okay, so next we have angle A is congruent to angle A. So itong angle A, para dito sa maliit na triangle, Yan, is congruent to angle A also dito naman sa malaking triangle. So, anong property nga ulit kapag congruent siya sa sarili niya? Okay, so, reflexive property. Tandaan niya yan. Okay, now, we can conclude that triangle ADE is similar to triangle ABC by AAA similarity theorem. Because we have here, angle, angle, angle. Okay? Okay, next, number five. Using the figure below, Name the three similar triangles. So, unahin na natin dun sa pinakamaliit na triangle. So, pinakamaliit, ito yon, Yan. So, hiwalay lang natin para mas maintindihan ninyo. Okay? So, triangle AML. And then, another triangle. Ito naman yung medium size. So, this one. And triangle CMA. Okay? Ayan. Tapos, i-move lang natin yan. Okay? Tapos, ikutin lang natin. Ayan. 
Ha? So, we have triangle CMA. And then, yung last triangle, ito yung pinakamalaki naman. So, kapag itinayo natin itong pinakamalaking triangle, so, ito yung magiging itsura niya. Yan. Tapos, tayo lang natin. Okay. So, these are the three similar triangles. So, yung triangle AML is similar to triangle CMA and also similar to triangle CAL. Number five, letter B. Write the proportions that exist among corresponding parts of similar triangles. So, ito yung triangle kanina na pinag-iwahiwalay natin. So, ito yun, mga yun. Unahin muna natin itong dalawang triangle na ito. So, we have triangle AML similar to triangle CMA. Okay, madali lang isulat yung mga corresponding parts ng triangle na ito kahit walang drawing. So, tingnan nyo lang yung mga letters sa pangalan nila. So, example, ito. Si AM, ito yung first and second letter over CN. So, tapos ito dito sa pangalawang triangle, yung first and second then. Okay, then equal to ML, yung second and third, tapos over second and third din dito sa isang triangle. Okay, and then yung last, we have yung first and third letter, AL, tapos dito sa isang triangle, ganun din, yung first and third letter over CA. Okay, another, ito naman yung AML at saka yung triangle CAL. So, ganun din. Itong first and second dito sa triangle na to, at saka yung first and second dito naman sa pangalawang triangle. AM over CA is equal to ML over AL, and then AL over CL. Okay? The next, yung triangle CMA, similar to triangle CAL. So, CM over CA, and then MA over AL, and then CA over CL. Okay, so yan yung learning task sa engagement part sa inyong mga learners. Bakit? Bakit? So I hope nakatulong. Okay, so see you on my next video.